for weeks to it. come. I can see it. But, you know, we got, we got challengers here. Who knows? Absolutely. And we'll have to see who is going to drop down to lose his bracket eventually. But, of course, who's going to take on the rest of uh, the rest of the elimination bracket here is Psychedelic is going to take on Beast. So Beast right. coming out with the Pokemon trainer. Another Pokemon trainer on stream, but this time facing off against Lucas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got P Beast and, and then Psychedelic, also known as formerly uh, pers as a former um, PK Love. That's it. Yep. I remember he was, he, was an old, he was an old school guy. He used to come out every once in a while. And I guess he just gone for a tag change this game. That's cool. I mean, hey, whatever works. Mm hmm. And speaking of whatever's working right now, yo, we got Psychedelic on the other side of the stage just zoning Ivysaur. And as, as Beast opts to choose to go to Ivysaur now, you know, maybe he's a side that he wants to help have a zoning game of his own. And you know what? No matter the tag, a rose by any other name smells just as sweet. And of course, that forward air, that PK freeze hits just as hard. Oh yeah, and, Yo, that and was a good call. That was a good call out by uh, by Beast right there. New psychedelic was going for the jump. Get up. No, and that's uh, that's Beast for you, both as a mm -hmm. person and as a player. He will not suffer fools for very long. He will call you out if he smells BS, and he certainly does uh, have no, he, a call out there. He's, he pre he's pretty good blood. at that. <laughs> he's pretty good at calling out BS. I'll say that. Oh man, because. Oh, that, that, that could, I, th I thought for a second we were going to see him go off stage for an edge guard there. And we're back to best of three right now, right? Before loses quarterfinal? Yes, this is loses round six, which means we are back in the best of threes. So here we are, once again, familiar situation. <laughs> Zard at the ledge. He's at high percent. Lucas is just trying to find his opening. And just like that, stage control. Well, uh, Beast just slowly gave up some stage control there, so... Psychedelic just getting in his mind. So we're best of five from here on in. And oh, Beast. this match? Or yeah. after this match? Really? Beast for Psychedelic. And Psychedelic doing just fine for himself. It turns out, sitting at only 38% and taking... Oh, wow. Not a whole lot that uh, Beast could have done against those up tilts. However... And yeah, if you want to keep up at home, exclamation point bracket. Oh yeah, it's right there in the stream. You can just check it out. Yo, what up, Forte? It's been a long time no see. Absolutely, uh, Forte. Yo, shout outs to everyone in the chat. No matter where you're watching from, oh, yeah. from Philly to the Philippines, Moscow or Madrid, we mm -hmm. appreciate you. Yo, give yep. the shout outs where you're at in the oh, chat yeah. or indeed in the comment section of the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash bros calamity. Oh yes, as you can see, if you pro you're probably <laughs> watching the VODs if you can see this right now. But exactly. that's not what this is about. This is about a dead even game on PS2 right here, game one. And that's a kill. Yo, I almost killed. Oh my god, that move is so weird now. I don't know if you noticed, but... Oh man, P uh, was it? Lucas is a, has got some certainly different changes. For instance, his zoning game. People say I've, I've heard people say it's a little bit weaker or stronger. It's been on both ends. Heard PK Fire got nerfed a little bit, but it didn't look nerfed right there. I'll tell you that. And now, at back air, not mm -hmm. quite coming out in time. He's shielded by psychedelic and. Trying to establish, once again, the zoning game. I mean, it's so many ways that you can play Ivysaur, but a lot of people do seem to lean on that Razor Leaf. Like, a, hey, you're going to stay out of my space, and you're going to be perfectly fine with it. The PK oh, freeze. We saw that kill earlier. Oh, and, oh no. chases him down. Get off my uh. stage, says Psychedelic. He takes three successive stocks to win, and... He will go up 1-0. I, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, Stu. Because on uh, one on uh, one part of me, I know Beast could have made it back from that if he got the swat the swip out the switch out instead of trying to go for the buffered up B. However, I know that Sky uh, was it Sky uh, Skydelic. I've seen that move like get people at low percent. So you know, I got I got to hand it off to him in that situation. No, Psychedelic doing quite well for himself to take three successive stocks and Lucas cru cruising in on the coolest ride in the game a mm -hmm. table with legs oh yeah uh, that, that that's a mad ride you know, <laughs> I, I, I'd, I wouldn't mind taking my prom date in that kind, in that kind of place I'd so, ride it I'd, yep. uh, yo I, I'd go yo that's a that's my kind of whip right there you kidding me oh yeah table with legs yo I'll cruise down the sh I'll cruise down South York Road with that thing oh yo 
Yeah. Put some stockings on that too. Like, yeah, that's Put a right. stocking on it. All you really need is a turn signal and you're Gucci. Oh, let's go. Yeah. All right. Back air coming out. A lot of those, but the forward air is meeting them in the air. However, in terms of damage, it's Beast with the advantage. Oh, yeah. Jab, jab lock combo. Jab lock. Oh, he could have gotten F smash. And the today. down air Beast, excuse me, coming out with attitude and comes out swinging in game number two. All right. I was about to say Beast whiffed because he could have gotten – a down, he could have gotten an F smash punish on that, but he didn't even he, he proved me wrong because he just got a down air. He made up for it. Oh, air dodge back oh. onto the ledge. Good stuff from Beast. Again, the number four in the Smash PR in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And combos come out from Beast. Juggling on the Smash World platform. Not going to give Sky, Sky Delic any room to breathe. <laughs> Although, this could be the end of him. Oh, Beast is having flashbacks. He's having flashbacks from that earlier game. So he does not he does not want anything to do with that PK with that up B. But honestly, once you weave around it, it's not as threatening as one may think. And now the back throw mm -hmm. gets him off stage at 43%. Oh, he's looking for a high oh, down air kill. Will guard the ledge. Nope. Or hang on to it, excuse me. I feel like Beast is looking for a downer in that situation, but just kind of uh just against his own judgment and thought and out of it. Which is to be honest, that's kinda of unlike Beast. He's a very YOLO player when it comes to when he when he's uh, when he, when he when it comes to when he thinks he can get a punish out. Absolutely, and uh, does not seize the day there. He will in fact lose that first stock to Psychedelic, who's sitting at 78 percent right now. So not a terrible position to be in, all things considered, especially given the fashion with which Beast took that first stock, the jab lock combo. Mm -hmm. Into the down air, absolutely brutal stuff also, from just, Beyond Beast Mode's Beast. Also, we just saw some good, like, some good neutral play right there. Oh, but the up air is going to take it. Mm. And now what we're seeing from uh, from Beast, yeah, you're right, a very catch-as-catch-can play oh, style. Yeah. But at the same time, it's a measured aggression. At, uh, and when he harnesses it, that's been his problem in the past is inconsistency. But when he measures it out, Summer Hayes, he's one of the deadliest forces that Philadelphia has to offer. Oh yeah, he Beast has had some good wins lately. Pretty uh, not not so long ago, only about two two tournaments ago, he ended up beating Blazing Pasta in winner's side of bracket. That was a huge win for him. And you know he's he's had some tight sets with like <laughs> six WX and others. That's so right. and he wound up taking fifth place in that tournament. So mm -hmm. definitely something to be said about it. Oh, yeah. He's had some good placements. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw him be a candidate for Ooh. grand finals as he takes yet another stock away from Skate Elk. Yeah, and he will, oh. in fact, even it up at one apiece. He's, uh, there's something to be said about, uh, about coming back from a devastating loss like he took in game number one. It could have gone either way, but uh, Beast paying that no mind. And instead, making psychedelic perhaps pay the piper. However, we're going toony now, Summer Hayes. It's uh -oh. the Toon Link coming out. Oh, you right. We have a Toon Link. I okay. All right. All right. Sky Delic, for those who don't know, was formerly PK Love in Smash Four. He played, as far as my knowledge, he played only Lucas. So to see a Toon Link come out, you know, that's neat. I'm interested. So they do know that it's best of five. So psychedelic. Doing it well from it's round six. No, uh, uh, yeah, I know it's best of five though. Oh, okay. Who said so? All right. Yeah. Well, we take it. Yeah, fair enough. We take those. Shout outs. Either way. Okay. Shout outs to Moosh. Good dude. Good dude. And here we go. Battlefield was a counter pick. And you know, <laughs> Battlefield for for young, for Toon Link here, that's not a bad pick. He's got he's not, he's able to camp some of these platforms, play his own zoning game, but. Once uh -oh. again, let's not slouch on Ivy Store. He's, he's a zoner himself. Oh, looking. That up air. Not finding it. Although he did find mm. a few of those in the preceding two games. I do like the switch to Toon Link. You, you, do have a, you do have room for error, but no room remaining after full connection with it, that F smash. Very interesting right there. Yo, we just saw Sky Delic go for two jump get ups in a row and followed by like before that was another normal get up. I feel like he could have mixed it up just by going with roll. Roll to ledge right there. Or some other option because he was getting his beast is just reading the heck out of him. Now shield coming out. You would, you would think that uh, Psychedelic would uh, 
Is he trying to bait out shield pressure, do you think? Trying to bait him into pressing buttons? Um, I, it's, I, I doubt it. Usually, this, in these kind of projectile war matchups right here, especially uh, now that he is uh, Zard Zard himself, I would just try to oppress him as much as you can and close that stock. Oh, looking for the hard flare blitz. Mm -hmm. Reed, oh, does it there. But oh. he gets hit with a bomb for his thanks. It's not going to break shield either. And I really thought the bomb confirm would actually make it. Not going to lie. He was so close. Right in his face with the bomb, I thought a fair. Oh, but he got caught with the flare blitz. Psychedelic perhaps uh, caught napping. And he will pay for it with his second stock. And now it's Beast with that Charizard at 210. Yeah, I was say, like, Beast is living right now. Up until that up caught him, he was at 210%. Yo, that is more than the average Zard, I'll tell you that. Well, I mean, hey, that's Beast. He's smarter than your average bear and better than your average player. Let's be real. Mm-hmm. No doubts. Also, we got a 2-1 to one stock lead right now. Going in favor of Beast, and he's just, right now, he's opting to play Squirtle at these early percents. He's a zone breaker. This is looking good for him. Yep, looking to close down that uh, looking to close down that gap and quickly. However, could be opting for uh, for a different kind of zoning game. Yep, and you know what? I feel like Beast is confident in the way the zoning is. I feel like he, uh, Beast has been outplaying uh, Skydelic within these zoning matchups. So I think that's why he opted to go with Ivysaur probably a little earlier than I would have thought. You know, it's psychedelic, right? Yes. Okay. Am I am I calling it something different? Yes, yeah, Skydelic. You're switching around the <laughs> camera. Why? You know, my apologies. I, I do that a lot with names. It happens, mate. Yep. And here we go. They're just, whip Yo, they're, they're just tossing out those forward airs. And now the back throw. Psychedelic putting Beast in disadvantage. Might think about the switch. The Charizard. However, the up air. Psychedelic not dead yet. Sitting at 119. Yo, we, he's, he's got a chance here. And another so bomb. Oh, this is so close to the ledge. That might do it. Un Indeed, it does. Oh. Off the top, two to one. Beast, again, not done yet. This is best of five and loses round six. Oh. So Psychedelic on the verge of elimination here at the hands of Beyond Beast Mode's Beast. And uh, definitely, as the name implies, going Beyond Beast Mode. Oh, Beyond. On, uh, on. that game number three. Yo, tell me what's up with these matches lately. Because I've seen, I, haven't, I don't think I've seen the KO zoom in screen once so far. All of them have been, like, somewhat questionable. Yeah, I mean, uh, maybe just a lack of DI, maybe just a lack of focus from uh, from the parts of some uh, some of these. Mm -hmm. some of the, I mean, we just had such an emotional night last night at Codename Bears. It went until around 1 o'clock in the morning. Oh, boy. Yep. <laughs> As of late, we've had such, a, such an abundance of people coming through for Bears that, you know, we're running a little later than usual, but we, we still make it through. As will Beast make it through this if he can. If he can. Perhaps Cause. that is the case, but there's only one way to know for sure. Yep. And Yo, now. I just stopped him dead in his tracks. You saw that? Yes, yeah, seriously. That's, in that's interesting. <coughs> All right. Shielding the PK freeze this time. He's been hit with that one too many times mm -hmm. in his estimation. All right. Beast tried to guess like a jump get up there, but. Didn't make its mark as he's getting off stage uh -oh. right now. That might be death for him. This could be it. Nevis is up there. But not another as good. PK freeze. Oh my god. He's <laughs> Can he make it back? Can like Beast make it back to stage? Oh, that's the question of the year. He does, but he's still kept in disadvantage and eventually right. the up throw. Psychedelic giving him no room to breathe whatsoever. Also, I just like to remark that Psychedelic went back with his guns. Towards his favorable character here, who he went in the first two games, known as the Boy Lucas. So, you know, I I, I think he's oh, well, I mean, hmm. so you, I'm sorry, you were saying I didn't mean to cut you oh, off, please, but that can't be any worse than the cutoff that Beast just gave to Psychedelic. I mean, I'm about to say I just got cut off by by Beast right there. So you know what? It's cool. It <laughs> happens. <laughs> that was so inconsiderate of you, Beast. Honestly, so, so inconsiderate. Joel, no one thinks about the commentators. It's the truth. All right. Joel Varis, you say you're sorry right now. Joel Varis. All right. All right, let's go. His shield is looking mad low, so he, so Lucas is just going in right here, putting the projectiles to the side and trying to make his way back in, but is not having it right now. 
Oh, now, oh looking for it. that down air once again at 84%. He's probably could spike. have killed. Okay. It's a very particular hitbox, however. It does it does uh oh yeah hit you down at oh. uh, pretty much breaking terminal velocity. Let's be real, but mm. gives himself a little bit of space with the PK right. Thunder. That was good. That, that was a good attempt at an edge guard there from <laughs> from, psych, uh, from psychedelic, because you know he set himself on the ledge, tried to get the up B off of him for an edge guard, but it you know if he was safe anyway because he just angled it back up. And this could be edge guard, which could lead into something big. Right it there? does not. And oh. oh, wow. He oh, grabs him and yeah. throws him off. And that's the problem with Charizard. You better make sure that you uh, that you come correct or else you could very well be paying with your stock. You could be uh, combo food after that, more or less. Oh, yeah. See, if there's one thing you, you always remember about Lucas from Smash 4 is that he has four kill throws. <laughs> one of them being, you know, yeah. a, a down air to up air, the up throw, the, the back air, and the forward throw. Always... Always putting on the pressure right there at, at kill percents. Exactly. If you mess up your uh, if you mess up your kill confirms, you could be paying with for it mm -hmm. with your own stock, and indeed he does. So we're talking about kill confirms right now. Second Delk is just trying to run away from Beast, and he is Ivy Store, which means he's got mad kill confirms. Absolutely. This could be so, uh, so downer. Oh, I think he went for the downer, but he might have gotten ledge grab by accident. So that's too bad for uh, for Beast in that situation. He's just trying to close out a stock before he racks up any more percent. He's sitting at 154 percent. So mm -hmm. full rage and eventually off the top. All right, yellow up there takes it. So this is his last stock. However, he is in the driver's seat of this particular matchup, letting the game come to him. However, oh beautiful tech chase. Oh yeah, psychedelic up air to up air in the bread and butter. Yeah, we got. Uh, he is looking like this is looking nice right now. All right. Reads the landing. Comes up right in a up close and personal game from Beast. Yep. Uh, you know, you, you, you see uh, people playing Ivysaur all sorts of different oh, yeah. ways. And Yo, this really is in the realm of psychedelic. This could, be, this could happen. He can make something happen right now. We might see a stop the Zard coming Ooh. out from Joel if he does not make it back to stage, which he does. Uh-oh, and out comes the Zard. Oh, this is, so, this is so close right here. Neck and neck. That could have been up smash right, right there. But Psychedelic just goes to the safer option, goes to the ledge back to stage, and oh. here he comes. Beast had the speed to close down that PK Thunder spacing that he gave himself to this Psychedelic. Is this is looking good in, for Psychedelic's favor right now. This However, is looking real good for him. Oh, parried, though. That's going to be it. The up throw will do it. Psychedelic, he takes it to 2-2. Two, two. We're going to game five. Amazing stuff from Psychedelic, who just will not stay down. And all of a sudden, it's Beast back, who's up against the wall as well. It's a shame that only one of these two competitors can move on into the next rounds into top eight. But ultimately, there can be only one in the words of Highlander. And now game number five to decide who moves on, and who goes home. Porte. Smashville Porte. will be the destination for these two combatants. Oh, yeah. As it will be. This is the counter, but coming back from, from Pokemon Trainer aside here. Pokemon Trainer on Smashville. I'm not sure I know too much about <laughs> this, but it seems like it could be favorable. Well, I mean, generally speaking, I mean, Smashville was the comfort pick in, uh, in Smash 4, but mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot of people, I've been hearing more and more dissent over uh, Smash Bros. inclusion now that the platform is static. The comfort pick for Zard, you mean? Well, for just players in general. You see pretty much almost universally. It's like, hey, you want to go Smashville? Okay, sure. Mm. Or at least that tends to be how it is. Uh, facts. How it was when I went to Xanadu. And indeed, that's how it was for most people here. Oh, stri that, that is straight up facts right there. If I, if I see Smashville one more time with that platform going around, I'm going to scream. Oh, all right. Oh, he's, my. He's got to swap out. Never mind. I'm wrong. Yeah, but uh, some people not a big fan of the static platform just kind of hanging out there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, oh Beast with the Vine Whip. No, I, I didn't know that was a kill confirm. That was looking nice from Joel right there. Oh, absolutely. No, Joel breaking out the – just swats down that stock. Matumbo says no, no. And Beast could be uh, could be rolling into the next round if he keeps up play like that. But Psychedelic has oh, had something yeah. to say about this the whole time. Indeed, game – Number five will start out about as even as it possibly can 
with one stock apiece. And, I mean, this could fall either way, Summer Hayes. Oh, it really can. Yo, Psychedelic has been doing really good. And you know what? He is no slouch. Like, he, we, we've seen Psychedelic before in the form of PK Love. And you know what? He was putting in work then. He's putting in work now. Ooh, beast. And yo, they, this, these, these, these are percents. These are all trades. These are all trade for trade. Percents are dead even right now. I'm I'm liking what I'm seeing right now. This is good gameplay. Quality. Psychedelic, he's going to have to prove how masterfully he can space out those forward airs and back airs if he mm -hmm. really wants an advantage. Because otherwise, it could be advantage beast. All right. Beast has had enough Bro. of trying to play the zone breaking game as as uh, Squirtle. He's opted to go for the uh, Ivy Store, and he wants that downer spike. You see him. You see him lurking for it. Oh, absolutely. The forward. Oh, he was thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Forward throw. And that Vine Whip is deadly. He has not really had an answer for that. It has Psychedelic. However, he does make it back to neutral. Oh, yeah. The only winning move seems to be not to play. The yeah, there it is. War Games. Oh, right. my gosh. War Games being played by Beast loading up the arsenal and firing away with that down air. And as expected, that has, that has to be Joel's favorite move in the game. Beast loves using that uh, down air, as do pretty much every other Pokemon trainer main that I know. Oh, yeah, you do see, uh, you saw Wishes using that quite a lot last night at Codename mm. Bears. Even, so he was beating 6WX with it. Oh, yo, he, yeah, he, Wish is definitely putting in work with it. Oh, the my. Trainer. And now Oof. the jab from right. Beast at 145%. I mean, Psych that's a lot of rage Ooh. to be building up. However, rage not nearly as much of a factor in this game. Psychedelic's got to close this fast or else he's beast has got to tackle on percent and momentum so fast in a matchup like this. Neutral it's air. starting right now. Now, Beast with and the down air! It. And Psychedelic's tournament hopes have just been stomped out after the Beast gets unleashed. That's crazy right there, Stu. He went... Like you said, Beast smelled blood in the water, and he just he just wasn't having it, man. Absolutely. He was not having it. What else could he do but strike? And indeed, he does to the tune of a five-game victory.